Alrighty, um, let's start off. Um, there are basically two routes you can go by. Um, it's either Metal Man first or Airman first. Um, since there's an IE glitch in uh, Metal Man, we tend to go Metal Man first because the fight against Metal Man is, is pretty easy with the IE glitch and you don't actually lose time doing it. Uh, compared to the airman fight, which depends on RNG and you being able to make some good hits on him. Uh, yeah, and if you go with Metalman first, you basically have movement for air, which uh, decreases the fight against airman drastically. Like, it's a 3 second fight with the leaf shield. So yeah, we start off with uh, Metalman here. I'm gonna uh, set some... Uh, safe states here and there so that I don't have to, I don't know, like repeat from the stage beginning and you can just uh, see the gameplay. And yeah, I'm gonna start off with a stage, it's pretty simple, um, where you just like start off slides and just go down. The really tricky part where I will like pause a little bit and do safe state are the uh, jumpers. Because those can be a little bit tricky. But yeah, uh, I will guide you through that, so no worries. So yeah, in the beginning, um, basically you can just slide through everything here. Um, best thing is sliding right before an enemy, which decreases the time you getting like the hit animation for Mega Man. So and here's the crucial point first. Um, you can stand on the same platform as those jumpers as you can see here. Um, it's a little bit tricky but it's not that tight actually. And what it does is it enables you to make a slide underneath them if they like go up again. Um, so what it should look like is... You just slide underneath them, you take one damage boost here because you can skip one, and then you stand again at those. And then you just look out for this one here. If you can get a damage boost from a, from a metal, or like from a, the mole, that would be great. Um, let's see if I can get it. A little bit. Like this. I'm gonna wait for the small, so I can damage boost through that uh, stomper there. It's pretty common. If you don't get lucky, that's based on RNG. I start the stage is basically just hoping for energy drops like that. And not getting hit by those metals. But yeah, rest of the stage, pretty easy. You can also additionally kill this one. I don't go for it, but yeah, you can do it. Maybe it drops something for you. And then, depending on how much energy refills you got, you have to either kill those guys here. Like, with this energy, you can just damage boost through everything. Um, for the boss fight, you need 5 HP to perform the IE glitch. As I say at the beginning. Um, what it does basically, the room is not uh, big enough for Metal Man actually, and what it does is if you set it up perfectly, you will jump into the right wall and then you will jump into the left wall, and that corners him, and he can never move out of it, except if you actually go too close to him. Like if you move too near, he will jump out of it, but if he doesn't, or if you like stay your ground on the right side and just shoot him in the face. It's an easy boss fight. So that was basically um, stage one, like Metal Man. The setup is, is really easy. What I do is I slide one time, I jump up in the air, um, I hit him, I slide underneath him, and then I just don't hold anything. It's that easy. Uh, next stage would be Woodman. Um, Woodman 
can be a little bit uh, tricky because Woodman stage is, uh, yeah, it has a split path in the like in the like water section where you can use either Rush Marine or if you're confident enough and you want to save two seconds, you just go top route and damage boost, damage slide through everything. Um, the beginning is shooting bunnies with the metal blade. They need uh, three metal uh, blade shots to die. And what you try to do is you try to shoot two metal blades as early as possible because those two will get registered. And then you shoot the third one once you have the like uh, when your positioning is right to them. And I try to um, show you that one. So basically, two metal blades, double slide and one slide and then it's just like killing them as good as possible without getting hit. Um, the next trick that comes up here is the uh, dog skip. Um, you ha have to hit him like I, I think 16 times or more with a metal blade to um, kill him. But what you can do is you can just fall into the screen with him. Uh, he will shoot his fire breath. Uh, which does like a U curve and if you turn uh, to the left because damage boosting in Mega Man 2 Game Boy is depending on what direction you're facing so if you face left you will get damage boosted to the right and if you're facing right you will get damage boosted to the left um, basically what you try to do is you fall as far as possible to the right then you turn left for like the last frame possible uh, you will get hit you will get boosted to the right you can make the jump up to the platform where the uh, <coughs> where the dog sits and then you can just slide through him without getting uh, additional damage and this is what it should look like i'm gonna save state though because i don't want to make an ugly mistake here yeah and that's what it's gonna look like i'm gonna try to show it off again so you fall into this pull right turn left slide through him grab the ladder easy as that Okay, next screen up, I'm gonna also make like a uh, safe state. Um, it's the split path. What you can do either is you change the rush marine, you just uh, hit the ceiling here, hold right. You're on the perfect height for the next platform that uh, is the way up to the ladder. And once you've reached this platform, you change back to metal and you just go up and climb the ladder. Um, but you have to see here is that the jumping out of water actually boosts you really high so don't grab the ladder like here because that is slower than just making a jump up so grab it as late as possible here uh, another option that you can try to is this uh, damage boost thingy which i always do it saves two seconds because you don't have to go to the menu that was pretty dumb i got hit by the metal there it should not happen So you see the damage boost to the right again. And now you can just go through here and make the jump up. So you don't have to switch, which saves you like two seconds. But yeah, if you're not confident in that one, you can just use the Rush Marine and, you know, it's not a big time loss. This screen is basically just throwing metal blades and just slide. And we're up to Woodman. So Woodman stage is pretty easy once you've learned it. Um, Woodman, the shield is penetrable, so the test does hits through it. And what I do is I just slide in front of him, shoot. If I get a hit through, uh, that's fine. And once I've got hit, I just go into the hitbox and shoot him two times. Run back to the middle and shoot him the last time. Pretty easy boss fight, 4 hits he's down. Alright, next stage is Airman stage. Uh, Airman is uh, pretty easy as well. In the beginning you do, you hold down and press A 5 times. This way you're standing right here. Um, and once you're here you can do some magic. Um, 
you can uh, slide through the horns and use the um, damage you get to just like slide on and turn left on the last horn like I did there to yeah, boost yourself uh, through the section here pretty fast. Should look like this in the end. Um, if you try that a little bit, you get the feeling for it. It's pretty easy. Rest of the stage is not that hard. Um, once you're standing on, like, right before this devil face here, you can perform one more slide. Um, this is important because... Um, if, you, if you're seeing that you're standing up like this, don't slide again. Just don't. Uh, but if you're standing like this, um, you can just switch to wood. You slide one more time, you land on the slide, and then you just shoot that air guy with the leaf shield. It's faster than bus string. And what you want is one small refill like this one here. This way you don't have to switch. If you don't get a small refill after you kill this guy here, you have to switch to the buster. Because if you shoot one more time, you don't have enough uh, energy for the airman fight. Yeah. What you could do as well is you don't use the leaf shield as early as I do. And you waste some time on those air blower guys. Um, that way you don't have the RNG. But yeah. Uh, airman fight is pretty easy. You just mash the uh, B button in the start of the fight. You will shoot the leaf shield. You will hit airman two times which deals 16 damage. And then you just wait for the pad and he gives you the clouds because they can uh, deflect those uh, leaf shields. And once you get like close to him or you got a clear sight of him, you just shoot him another time and bam, he's down. Which makes this the, like faster round. Uh, instead of going airman first. Alright, uh, last stage of the first was basically the hardest stage, Clashman. Um, since we have rush, coil, uh, rush chat right now, we wanna use this to our advantage and climb ladders faster so what you should do is summon him once you're on the ladder and just use him to like climb the ladders up faster this way it saves a lot of time um, there's also a little clip in Clashman um, it's gonna appear here. I'm gonna make a small save state here. Um, basically, once you have killed this enemy, you slide and what you will do is you will clip into this ladder uh, tile set right here where Mega Man is like climbing down. And what it does, it just boosts you downwards a little bit. So it should like this. As you, as you can see, I, I got boosted downwards a little bit. It's like saving frames, but yeah, once you've known that, it's it's pretty pretty cool to do. And then just more rush uh, jet action to just uh, go up ladders. Uh, by the way, there's. A funny thing with this ladder here, um, because if you... You can't jump onto this, because they accidentally made a mistake with the ladder here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna switch weapons here. Um, let me pause the emulator pretty quick here. So, you see those, like, cut it ladder tile sets here. So they made a mistake here. This is the tile set for the top of the ladder. So I don't know what they thought of this, but yeah, you can stand on this and you don't climb the ladder at all. So be careful with this one. And one more time, rush chat to the rescue to quickly 
climb up those ladders. Um, you need two E tanks in this run because Needleman or the Needle stage is, is an asshole. And Wily is an asshole as well. So you need two E tanks. One of the E tanks you're gonna grab in this stage, like I did. It's like on the way, it doesn't matter too much. And now we have the hardest fight because um, Clashman does not really have a weakness. Air Shooter is his weakness, but it deals, I think, two damage to him. And the problem is, you only have enough uh, ammo for like shooting him down to one HP. So what you want to do is, you want to start off the fight with Rush Chat. You want to hit him uh, when he jumps. Like you jump, you press B, he jumps up, and once uh, once you hit him, you switch to the air, air buster. And then you just like unpause and shoot again and you will hit him in mid-air again. And what you don't want to do is miss a shot. Because if you miss a shot like I did, I'm gonna show you this one. Um, you don't have enough ammo for the fight. He will like live. And this is what I meant. So you have absolutely no time wasting ammo here. So a perfect shoot. I hope I get it. Should look like this. Oh man, I missed. Um, another good thing to know is uh, if you absolutely have to get hit. Um, try to get hit by his uh, clash bombs he's firing because those deal only three damage instead of like uh, Clashman he deals four. So if you absolutely have to get hit, you should get hit by the bombs or by the explosions. And yeah, what you should know once you've played this game is you should try to finish all your fights in the middle because Mega Man running into the middle is so costly. <coughs> Alright, uh, now I get a little cutscene. Uh, shows the Wily Castle on the ground. Uh, you cannot speed this one up. Compared to me, I mean, uh, Wily's Revenge. And you get introduced to uh, the four new uh, stages, which is from the bottom left, Magnet, top left, Heart, top right, Top, and bottom right, it's uh, Needleman. And what you're gonna do is you start off with the bottom left, Magnet Man, and then you just uh, go in a circle, top left, top right, bottom right. So it's just clockwise. Uh, let's save this one. All right. Um, beginning of uh, Magnet Man is you're gonna go to Metal Blade. You do two slides. You shoot upright. Slide again. Shoot upright. Shoot upright. Shoot upright. And shoot another one. And that is basically the way you're gonna over through this. It basically saves one second compared to not killing those magnets, and since you have to change to magnet anyway, at metal anyway, it is just faster doing it in this manner. Because those magnets, they just pull you up and you cannot slide. And what I'm trying to do there is you can slide on the uh, last platform. For some reason, I cannot do it. I'm just gonna do it and not do it anyways. Um, you try to not get hit unnecessarily like I do here, but wow, that's just bad. I'm gonna reload that. That's bad. Uh, yeah, unnecessary hits are really terrifying in this stage because it is planned out so well that. You either have to get like another refill or something. Yeah, this, this is not good. That's way better. Because you're sliding through so much enemies to speed it up. 
Um... That you cannot afford to get hit unnecessarily. Um, next thing you have to know is that if you use Rush Chat, um, when you, once you're on him and riding him, if you're jumping, like on a constant base, then it doesn't drain energy as much. Like, I drain this much right now. If I do it again... Well... I need to make some more safe states. <laughs> Man. Alright, so yeah, I do this part again uh, with the uh, rush chat. And now I don't jump. I need to see how much it drains. Like, it's not half a bar, but it's it's a lot compared to, like, just making constant jumps here. Well, I don't know why I'm falling off there, but oh well. You see how much I drained here? Like, nothing compared to uh, the one before. So yeah, this one is also pretty easy. You go up here, you shoot three times, shoot a four time, and then you just slide. Um, that way, you don't get hit by the missile here in the end. You can just keep going forward. Alright, um, magnet fight is pretty easy. You shoot one time, two time, and then just when he goes up. I just kill him. Uh, that was a pretty bad fight to be honest. I'm gonna do that again. Um, what you have to like watch out is that you don't get uh, too far away from him because once you're too far away he will just start his um, pulling animation and you cannot hit him until he stops that. So that was a pretty good fight. If you kill him on the top right when he goes up that's pretty good. Alright, next stage is Hartman stage, which is just pretty technical. Um, lots of sliding in the beginning of the stage. Um, definitely try not to get hit by the bees, because bees. And then what you're gonna do is you change to the rush coil. The test uses a rush a jet, but rush coil is just much more powerful for an RTA runner. Um, yeah, just use them like I do, try to get the, the timings out of it. Um, like here I just time it to slide 1-2. Yeah, I messed that up because I'm stupid. <sighs> Let's do that again. Because like most of the timings for summoning Rush Coil or using him is uh, like based on your slide uh, distance and you can just use that to count damage is not a problem this stage so you can just tank some stuff here so what I meant before was you can just do two slides like one two use him go against the ape so you can just damage boost earlier and like jump earlier uh, same here. One slide, go into the ape and just make the jump. And you can just damage boost through everything. Um, important thing is, don't slide into the store because you slide into it, it just takes way longer for Mega Man to uh, get back on his feet because he cannot slide into doors. They have not implemented that. Optimal fight for Hartman is slide in front of him, one, two, jump, one, two, and then another time. And basically you cannot die here. 
you just cannot. Like, impossible. One, two, one, two, damn, he's down. Perfect fight is when he's not even jumping. Like this, this would be a perfect fight. Worst thing that could happen is that he stomps the ground. If he does that, uh, then you know it's it's just a bad fight. All right. Um, with hot luck liquid, we have the potential of like screen wrapping in Mega Man 2, which is Pretty cool because the Mega Man Game Boy games are pretty solid actually. Like there are not much uh of stuff you can do. So what you have to do first here is you go to Rush Marine, you summon it as early as uh, possible, and now I'm gonna make a safe state. Um there's the option for two uh different strats here. You can go for the hard knuckle sips. If you get them, like, if, like, it's not a waste of time if you don't get them, actually. It's, it's a little bit, um, yeah, sad if you don't get them, because they save a lot of time. Um, but yeah, menu for the hard knuckle would be just two ups and you're on the hard knuckle. And let me, um, make another save state. If we uh, don't do the hard knuckle setups, but what you should do is you should land on this and tr try to shoot on the last frame. Um, Mega Man is falling through this like this. This is the sip. What you've done there is you shoot on the last frame. The the screen actually is there. And then you like the game doesn't know what to do with you because you basically started the screen transition but you interrupt it because if you jump and you play see how he like stops for a brief moment there and the game doesn't know what to do with you and normally you would land into this this screen with the cat here because the screen uh, ends on the bottom left you just fall through it and that has an amazing outcome that you just skip screens like this one the graphics get a little bit interrupted and stuff. That's all cool. Next thing you can do is if you're on a ladder, ladder basically means last uh, last frame before the screen transition. So if you press A and B on the same time, yay, you you screen wrapped. You're on the screen below. So it's tricky to do them while you're falling because. It's not that easy to time it. Sometimes you shoot too early, sometimes you shoot too late, but once you've got it, it's pretty easy. And top man stage is not really tricky. So this is what the screen looks like without the screen wrap. And if you screen wrap, if you do it perfectly, that is. You just have to know what the screen looks like. Um, here's the ladder again. It's the ladder you... Uh, the guy was uh, standing with his top, uh, top spinny thingies. And uh, so what you do is you just fall down until like this point here, with the uh, white lines, and then you just do the same magic again, and you just sip through, uh, uh, to another screen, which is basically this one with the cat. And this E tank is skipped. Which is um, the reason we go for another E tank in Needleman stage later. So once you've done those sips, you just hope for refills. So once you see refills, you basically just go for them. Every um, hamburger, every big refill is is good for you. I should have not gotten hit there. Oh. Yeah, we got unlucky there. You hope for a drop right in front of the door. 
but yeah, it do does not really matter. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna save this boss fight, I'm gonna skip back to... You. So, if you don't do the... Oh shit, I just overrode it, right? Oh, damn it. Uh, if you don't do the screen wraps, um... Basically, you stay on Metal Blade, you damage boost the cat, the first cat. And then you just stay on Metal uh, metal Blade and kill those um, Mad Doses. And basically, this, the the three hard knuckle zips you should at least do. Like this on the ladder, the first one on the right here, and this one from the white stripes. You should definitely do them because they save a lot of time. And they are pretty easy. Just B and A at the same time and just fall down through everything. Yeah, and the good thing to know is if you kill an enemy like this and you have actually uh, accidentally collected a drop already, you can just switch weapons and it would uh, like count down. Um, I can show you that one. So, you see this big refill here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm. I'm gonna collect it with a rush coil and then I'm gonna switch to the hard knuckle. And you see that hard knuckle got refilled. So you can do that with anything. So if you need, I don't know, you need magnet and then a little bit of hard knuckle. You can just use it for both. It's a pretty cool trick. So once you've collected one, like in sliding, like a big one, you can just switch. This would be perfect. I would switch here and get the hard knuckle refills because you need them for the YD sips. And then basically you're free to do the topman fight. And topman fight is, is so easy, you should like no second round. Like he should never get a second round. So what you do is you slide in the middle, one, two, one, two, three, easy. This is this is how the fight should look like. You do a slide, one, two, one, two, three. If you shoot too fast, it will look like this. The shot will block, then you cannot shoot again, and then bam. Once you start spinning, you basically have lost because you cannot hit him again. So do two shots. Wait a brief moment and do three spam shots again. It's really easy. Like, B, B. Even if you get hit, it doesn't really matter because you're in the center as well. So, a pretty easy fight. And. Yeah, now comes the, the last stage from the second boss uh, order, which is Needleman. Uh, Needleman is also pretty easy. What you do first is you go to Metal Blade. It's an up, right, up um, switch, like up, right, up, and you're on Metal Blade. You shoot two times and a third time and kill those things. And if you get a big or small refill here, you can also use it for the hard knuckle. Because Hard Knuckle is so important in Wily, it is worth to change weapons to it and uh, go for it. So we do another Rush Shed Ride Arena here. And... Wow. Yeah, that's lucky we got the, the refill here. And we also have to collect this E-Tank here. Wow. Yes, unfortunately, but I don't want to get hit another again, uh, another time. And... Why you have to collect the E-Tank is basically those needles are RNG. You can just slide through them, but they deal like a lot of damage. Um, so what you have to do is, at one point you have to refill and that's why the E-Tank is taken. Basically, um, when you're finished using Rush Chat for the uh, cannons, you just 
get to the tank and you go to top and yeah you just slide you just jump into him you kill him easy as that easy boss fight but you have seen I like like lost almost half of my HP there for this boss fight that's why it is necessary to um, take the E-Tank in this stage. Alright, um, now it comes to Quint. Um, what I do is I shoot him like a few times with the Buster. I go to the Clash Bomb, I shoot him in the head. And then I go to Metal Blade and shoot him again. Uh, the thing is, Metal Blade deals 2 damage, Clash Bombs deal uh, 4 damage, Hard Knuckle would deal 5, and originally the fight would be, you go in here, uh, you go to Hard Knuckle, you you shoot him in the head with the Hard Knuckle, and then you finish him off with uh, the Clash Bombs. But, since we have to use the, the Hard Knuckle in, uh, in Wily, We, we cannot waste them on Quint anymore, and it isn't much slower to use Clash Bombs and uh, Metal Blades. Alright, so yeah, now we got the Sakugane or the Pogo Stick. And now we, if we get lucky enough, we have enough Hard Knuckles for the Wily stage. And in the Wily stage we can save a lot of time with them. Um, with our knuckles we save the the trip up down that upcoming section and what you have to do is basically we just use the rush coil here and now the magic can begin. If you have enough hard knuckles you can go for the crazy uh, like sips which is like this one here. If you fall down and get this one you are so free because Depending on how many hard knuckles you have left, you can just do it another one on this ladder, then you fall down. And you could try to get the frame perfect one when falling down here, which I got, luckily. Now we have skipped all of the up down section. This was like the perfect, um, perfect Wily stage so far. We saved everything in the, like, the frame perfect way. So this one is pretty pretty hard, it's frame perfect. This on the ladder is easy as well. And a setup for this one, if you don't get this one here, you just go up this ladder, you just A, B, make a small jump and then same way, you've, you've gone through it. Um, if you don't get this one here, it's not a problem, you just go to the right here, you make a damage boost over this one. Um, depending on how you feel, you could also get this big refill here. Uh, like if you're not really sure about the, the hard knuckle reps, you just get death uh, refill here, and then just like set up yourself on the ladder, hit one, go onto this ladder, sip another time, and then yeah. Um, what you just saw was a little bug. I don't know when does it like um, work, but. Um, sometimes you get stuck in the ground, and when you get stuck in the ground, you have the chance of just pressing A, the jump button, and then you just zip immediately again. I don't know, it just sometimes works, so yeah. Next thing you have to use is uh, Rush Marine. If you're if you don't want to wait on those platforms, because they can sometimes take some time, you can just use Rush Shell or Rush Coil, and you just fall in the water. Rush Marine. Try to get some uh, energy refills from these guys here. That one would be perfect on a run. Go back to Rush uh, Jet. Um, rush Jet over m most of these enemies here. Don't fail this jump, this, this is so ugly if you fail it. Wow, that is ugly. 
Uh, if you have enough energy, you can tank one of these. Um, what I do is I set myself up, like, I go close to it, so that it, like, falls down. Then I go left, and once it has a certain height, I just slide underneath it. Uh, but you don't have to go for that one. Um, as always, don't use, like, rush jet as, um, like, too much, because you need the energy for the first phase of Wily. And yeah, that's the Wily stage. Most of it just gets skipped because of the uh, hard knuckle wraps. So first phase of Wily is you slide underneath him, you get rush jet. Um, and you just... Uh, yeah, you just kill him. Not like he should not be able to make a second jump. I just missed. Missed a lot of shots here. Yeah, well that was stupid. But oh well. Now you use Sakugane. Um. just hit his head and very important he should never die too far to the right side because if he dies to the right side you can soft lock the game uh, a nice feature is if your Sakugana runs out of energy um, you are directly redirected to the buster and you can do double hits on Wily as you have seen on this uh, last phase You just hold A here, you just hold the jump button. And you just try to get some double hits in. Yeah, that that is by Mega Man uh, 2 Game Boy. That was the Wily fight. That's the whole game. This is what you have to do. Uh, I hope this uh, little tutorial helps uh, you guys out. Uh, okay, that's a nice visual glitch there. Wow. Okay. That is sick. I've never seen that one before, yo. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope this helps you out guys uh, for the 12 hour marathon or the challenge. Um, if you need anything else, you just have to write me a PM or Twitter me. Uh, Tremendous is the uh, Twitter name, uh, as you can see on the left of my screen layout. Um, yeah. I'm on Discord, I have Skype. If you need something, I'm I'm really uh really open for help. I, I really appreciate everybody who runs the Mega Man Game Boy games because they are so good. And yeah. See you next time for the Yeah, next tutorial. Um what I try to do in the future is um to do a wiki page for the Mega Man Game Boy speedruns, so I uh, just upload GIFs or videos or pictures um, of all the Mega Man games, all the tricks there in, like the screen wraps, where to screen wrap, uh, what are the backups, what uh, what is necessary to do something, what is the fastest way to do it, and yeah, once that is um, finished, um, I'm gonna provide it with you guys. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, have fun with the 12 hour uh, marathon.